What's up, Mafia? Back again for a monthly Q&A. So this is for the month of September. So let me crack up the top. All right, so let's get into it. Hopefully this won't be long, but when I say that, it's probably about 20 months. All right, first one. You know, I'm just going to read it how, how I wrote it. All right, this is from John M. He has mm, three questions. Do you think Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee for the U.S. Uh, President of the United States? Um, me personally, I don't get into politics. Um, I really don't. Um, I would like, um, Donald Trump to be, um, the Republic nominee. I think he brings a lot, a lot of things different to the table. And he's one of them types of dudes that, you know, has... I don't know how to say it, but has an open mind, or not an open mind, but an open mouth. Like he'll 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 say anything, and you know he doesn't care. So I like that about him. Seems like a president that would go A B. But uh, if I have to vote today, like I, said, I don't know who all the nominees and you know who all the candidates are, but I would, you know, I would definitely um, vote for him. So. That's, there's my answer. Second one. Are you a fan of reality TV? Um, no, I'm not. I could care less. Um, honestly, I... I don't really watch TV. Um, at all. Um, especially reality TV. It, it's gotten so goddamn stupid. It really has. Like, the last good reality... I would say the last good reality TV show um, was probably in like 2001. Like this was the last, you know, reality TV show that I actually liked. It was called, um, uh, Temptation Island. And they only went for probably about two or three seasons. But basically what it would be is it would be like, you know, 16 people, which would be eight couples, and they would be on this island. And I don't remember, like, the basis of it, but basically, like, you know, they would try to be tempting each other to, to you know, cheat and flirt and whatnot. But um, that was the last good reality TV show, I would say. So, hope that answers your question. Uh, let's see. Third one. Uh, would you be interested in reviewing uh, menu items from Hack the Menu on your YouTube channel? Um, I looked at the link, John, and I think that's kind of cool. I would, but number one, you gotta have the money for it. So you figure if you go, let's just say you want to make the McWhopper, you know, you have to get the Big Mac, which is like four or five bucks, I think. And then you got to get the Whopper, which is probably another four or five bucks. So that would be like eight dollars, um, you know. Also, Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Um. Also, um, if anything, I need to lose some pounds, not gain them. So that would probably make it a no for me. Um. Honestly, I, I mean, I would just to try them, but would I really? Um. But they see it, it seems it's a very interesting concept. Um, I will say that. So the next one is from Dogbag. 
Um, what are your thoughts on half breeds? Like half goblins, half young muns, or half fish? Well, Mr. Bag, um, truthfully, I didn't do my research on this, so this is going to be kind of off the rip answer. Um, I haven't really got into it. Don't know really what, what that's all about. Um, if you're talking about like half breeds, like half golden retriever and half whatever, or, you know, half Asian person and half American. I mean, that's all good, but um, goblins, um, me personally, they don't exist. Um, the only um, goblin that I know of is off of Spider-Man. I, I don't know what it was, what, what his fucking name was. Um, what was it? Fucking goblin in that movie, Spider-Man. I think it was called the Horny Hobgoblin or something. I don't know. Hob something, I know that. But um, Anything other than that, I mean, me personally, I think it's demonic. And I'll come right, right out and say it. I think all that's just demonic. And, uh... Half fish, uh, you know, don't know really what to say, but anyways, uh, but th that's, that's my thought on half breeds is I think it's demonic. So, um, and this last one is from T. Heat. Don't know if it's Danny, Flavio, or both of them. Um, it says you're in school now. That's great. Have you ever been bullied in your life? Oh, yeah, I have. Fucking hated it, too. Um, I've pretty much... There's been, there's been times where I've been bullied. I guess if you could call it that, by my jobs that I've had. In, in the past um definitely in school all throughout school especially high school um believe me i had a, because of it i had an anger problem or a temperamental problem um again not gonna get very too much into detail because that's kind of like the boundary line um been bullied somewhat by family but like I said, mainly throughout high school, you know, I wasn't one of the popular, um, I wasn't in the popular crowds, but I was talking to, um, an old classmate, uh, when was it? A couple of years ago. Um, I don't, I don't talk to him anymore, um, due to different things, but, you know, and there's, there's been a few, like, he was telling me that I bullied him and, you know whatnot so what comes around goes around and you know it is what it is so anyways uh that wraps it up for september's q and a um thank you john and flavio and danny or one or the other or both and mr dog bag um i meant to uh I was going to send John a message and remind him to um, let you know last month, but it just didn't work out. So, anyways, uh, all good questions. Some of them are just a little bit freaky, and some of them are just kind of too personal. So, um, but all good questions. So, anyways, with that said, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, it's free for you to do, and it helps me out tremendously. Till next time, I'm balling out later.